Is prednisone a steroid? And what steroid side effects do I need to know? Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist. I'm here to help you understand all about prednisone as a steroid and what steroid side effects you need to know about. So first of all, is prednisone a steroid? Yes, prednisone is a steroid. It's a type of steroid called a glucocorticoid or corticosteroid. And that means it's different than the kind of steroid that bodybuilders use. Anabolic steroids are what the gym rat would be injecting illegally, potentially doping with. And steroid in that situation is what you normally think of when you hear of steroids, as in the kind of steroid used to build muscle. Prednisone is not that kind of steroid. It is a catabolic steroid. Anabolic means to build muscle. Catabolic means to destroy. So prednisone is not just destroying muscles, leading to muscle loss, sarcopenia, and other non-pleasant things that you do not want to deal with. It also causes many other side effects. Let me tell you what those are. First, we'll talk about the long-term side effects that can be irreversible. These things include bone loss, osteoporosis. So prednisone is stealing, breaking down bones and muscles and redistributing all of that as fat and water weight gain. And it is putting it in the belly and in the face leading to moon face, like your face is round like the moon. And in the shoulder neck girdle area, there's a fat deposit there they often call a buffalo hump. And so prednisone is the kind of steroid that does not make you look better like an anabolic steroid. It makes you look worse. And the exterior changes are some of the hardest to deal with that the doctors often ignore and discount and are like, yeah, I know you have moon face, you're on a steroid, whatever, I don't care. But the moon face and the steroid side effects aren't just visual. The bone loss can lead to broken bones, loss of height, and potential need for hip replacements. Then there's also the blood sugar changes that can lead to diabetes and heart disease, blood pressure changes, cholesterol changes. All of these things are affecting the metabolism, making you feel super hungry and like your hunger never stops that the ability to feel full just kind of disappears. And the weight gain redistributes so that you can look like a watermelon with a big round belly and face with toothpick arms and legs. Nobody wants that. And so those are some of the side effects. Then there's the short term ones that also can be long term, but people want to know about things like mood changes. For example, feeling super excited and full of energy and jittery. Sometimes it's good. You have lots of energy and euphoria and you feel better than you have in 20 or 50 years. Sometimes it can be terrible anxiety and just so much jittery pressure feeling that it's disabling and panic attacks, depression, and super common insomnia. Just unable to feel calm and restful and just fall asleep or stay asleep is even more common. Then there's how prednisone as a steroid can affect other things. So how is it even doing its job? Well, it's causing your immune system to settle down and stop attacking autoimmune diseases. And it's causing inflammation like arthritis to settle down. It's just kind of turning down all of these volume switches that are kind of out of whack. And that can lead to side effects with your immune system. It can lead to risk for infections like pneumonia. Then it can affect your adrenal gland. So your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis is really important to help you deal with stress. And prednisone is replacing your body's naturally occurring hormone called cortisol and turning off that whole system. So you'll have your adrenal glands are messed up. Your energy, your stress response system is just out of whack. And so you must 
absolutely taper off of prednisone. Never go cold turkey unless your doctor tells you to, unless it's in the prescription of what your doctor said to do. Always, always taper off, going slowly at a lower dose every day for days to weeks to even months. That way you can give your adrenal system the chance to recover. And so prednisone as a steroid can be a miracle. It can save lives and it can also make people feel completely miserable. And if you want to know what are these steroid side effects that I need to be aware of and how can I counteract them? I created the prednisone checklist. It includes the top side effects of prednisone and exactly what you can do to prevent or minimize them. And it's a checklist. So it just goes through all of the things to do. You can print it off. You can share it with your doctor, your family members, and we'll tell you how to make sure you're taking care of your body in the best way you possibly can while taking prednisone. Just click the link to download your very own prednisone checklist now. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. Mm -hmm.